everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Xbox Live Arcade version, episode 17. Last time on Banjo Kazooie, we pretty much finished up Click Clack Woods, but I said we had to come here and get our B form and go in and get our last Jinjo of the game, our last Jiggy of the game, and get our last transformation, use our last 25 Momo tokens that we needed. Momo Magic, good. B is best yet. So now with the B, I'm gonna fly around in springtime here. Which has one of the weirdest kind of abilities. It's okay. Um, but we'll basically be able to get the last two Jiggies with the B form. Because we're going to have to use it to come up here, get a Jinjo, and then we're going to have to go outside the level and get something there. So I'm not a fan of the B's controls. They're kind of meh. I think they're much more improved in 2E. Alright, I just need to come down here. Alright. Alright, so the way, before you couldn't get in this, this lovely nest, you have to kind of come in from this side here. And only the bee can fit in here, so. Alright, he kind of can fit in here. He can say hi to the lovely bees. Hi, guys. How you doing? Alright, and they kind of ask us to get rid of this guy. Because he's kind of annoying. Drops the jiggy. And there we go. Gamer picture unlocked. Woohoo. Better win gamer picture to spruce up gamer profile. Nice. Alright. So that's uh, that's what we get for that. Then if we jump through here, and that's it. So overall, well, I'll, I'll probably do it when we get closer to the. Oh my God, B form. By the way, if you hold B, you fly faster. All right, so let's fly this way. This also really makes a really high-pitched, annoying sound. All right, so you want to come down here. So the nice thing about the bee, the bee, if I can remember, only can go in spring and the and exit the level. So I don't think you can go anywhere else inside the game or inside the click clock woods. Which makes sense because bees can't really go in there, except for summer might be the only one. So then just to look at that real quick, how do we do in click clock woods? I've been thinking about a little over an hour because I goofed up on a few things. I'm not gonna lie, playing this game again makes me want to kinda like get good at speedrunning it because I know it pretty well at this point. And I think I could really increase some of my times. Yeah, an hour and ten minutes. I mean, I could have done that much better, but not, not horrific. All right, so now what you want to do to get the last jiggies, fly way up here with the bee. And this is the last jiggy in the game, jiggy number 100. Kaboom. We now have... Now, I need to get rid of the bee form. And the best way I found to do that is... Getting him to land, which he doesn't always land. The best. Come on, B, land. There we go. But I walk him over this way. And Mumbo's magic should kick in here. Here we go. Mumbo magic, get weak. And it wears off. Okay. So, with Mumbo's magic gone and all the levels beaten, we now have one last thing to do, and that is take on the lovely quiz show that uh, many people know in this game. It's kind of a really cool thing that kind of comes with Banjo. So here we go, um, just to check the stats, prove real quick that we've done everything in the game. Until Slayer, 10 of 10. Mama's Mountain, 100, 100, two, 10 of 10, 2 of 2. Same thing for Treasure Trove, Clanker's Cavern, Bubble Gloop Swamp, Freeze Easy Peak, Gobi's Valley, Mad Monster Mansion, Rusty Bucket Bay, and Click Clack Woods. And their stop is watched, which, again, we'll get later. So, alright, let's do this. Alright. Alright, here we go. Jump on Tui's face and enter in we go. Now, I don't know how well I'm going to do this the first try, as I have been known to goof this up sometimes. I do it really well sometimes, sometimes I do really bad. So welcome all, Grunties the name. Banjo's here to play my game. My lair is done in here. He stands through all my tricks and traps and lands. This final test will see me win. When Banjo fails, then I'll be thin. I'll be, uh, the prize on this stand bring joy from 2D down to cuddly toy. My little quiz will make you sweat, and Tootie, you shall never get 
because somewhere soon, all along the way, your lack of skill will make my day. Because in the fiery pit, you'll go, and I'll win the prize on show. Blah, blah, blah. So, I'll step on over to the square. Press A to try it if you dare. All right. No Orions, no done. Okay. So, first thing you want to do, turn around here, activate this lovely pot. This will be lit for later. Um, okay. Now, here, you're going to want to walk around this because I think it teleports back. So, this is a quiz show, and it's it's pretty impressive what it has to go through. So, here we go. Now, I kind of have my own way around it. I avoid certain spaces on purpose. So, all right, here we go. All right, A. Here we go. In Rocket Rusty Bucket Bay, you may have been... But what on the walls isn't seen? Toll 8. Toll 7 is not seen as they're all even numbers. And I know these pretty well. Not perfectly, but let's jump into this. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Oh, that's a nice fire. Uh, I would say that's Monomancer Mansion. It's only with that kind of a fire, but also... So, I'm going to say there. Man Monster Mansion. Now I'm wrong. Then it would be... Uh, so you get hurt then if you're wrong. Kind of go back into it. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you've been? That's freeze easy peak. That's pretty obvious. You see the scarf and you see some snow. So that is freeze easy peak. Yay! So we got it there. Alright, so I'm going to do this one. Now I try to avoid the timers and the skulls are the things that I truly avoid when going through this because those are instant deaths. And I don't want to go through this. So Freeze Easy Peak is rather cold. But what does the huge snowman hold? Well, of course, he owns a broom. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Now, this one, this is a sound effect one. So now we listen. When this piece of music is heard, which move's done by your stupid bird? And that's the invincibility. I said fairly easy, like... If you've been paying attention to the game and you know it pretty well, it's actually pretty good. The ones that are the, the hardest, it's called the Wonder Wing, I think it's called. No, what's it, what's, what's it called? Oh, I want to do it. I don't remember what it's called. You should remember, but we'll see. If this is heard, you, are you being... This sounds like the clock. And see, I make mistakes on these. It's like Vandra's house. Yeah, see, this is inside the squirrel's tree house. There you go. Alright, so now I usually go this way and get this joker and then avoid the skull. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Oh, this is Gobi's Valley. Very easy. It's Gobi's Valley. Mumbo's Mountain, and then Gobi's Valley. And so winning these joker spaces gives you some skips. Which are nice. They're useful for later. Alrighty then. So we're gonna take the eye test here. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Ah, that's Rusty Bucket Bay. That's it down in the quarters. Oh. Alright, Rusty Bucket Bay. Woohoo! I like this. I really do like the quiz show. Um, I think it's a cool knowledge to make you pay attention to the game. A hungry shark will end your game. On Treasure Troll, what's his name? Snacker! Snacker the scary shark. He scared the crap out of me when I was younger. How could I forget him? Alright, so now here's the time challenge. These are the ones that can be pretty difficult. You have to do something in specific... Oh! I'm gonna help Bear win nasty. Which game? This is tough. Your chances are slim of eating more than him. Ah, oh, why? All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this in overdrive. Let's do this. Oh, come on! It switched so quickly on me. Okay, here you get to see me actually use the speed shoes to my advantage. But sometimes it does this where it screws you over. Oh, come on, game. Yeah, I'm not going to win this. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my lord. It's switching them right when I get done out of the stun. Come on, come on, 
come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I beat it! Oh my lord, I won! Woohoo! Somehow I beat that. I should not have beat that, but I beat it. Nonetheless. Alright. Alright, here's the winch ones, and these are the most difficult to do. Grunty's got a beautiful pose. Where do I get my delightful clothes? And these are just random. Saggy Maggie's Boutique, the Witch's Warehouse, and the Trash Can. I say Saggy Maggie's Boutique. Oh, I'm going to take a hit here. And I'm probably going to get some of these wrong, because these, I don't know. I like a cuddle and a fight. What do I take to bed at night? A scary teddy bear. My dirty undies. A huge sweaty baboon. My dirty undies? Oh, I mean, that's wrong. And see here, I just walk over here. Get a health real quick. Take this, because it's worth it. Don't be smart. You're not one yet. When I was small, what was my pet? A greasy warthog, a baby dragon. That was a greasy warthog. Yeah, I was right. Okay, good. Finally, that's over. Alright, so now this one's kind of crappy. Um, it is the lovely skull ones. Now, the skull ones, if you lose, you instantly die. And uh, they can be pretty pretty scary here. Get, get this wrong for Grunty's sake. So let's do it. Sometimes they're really easy, though. In the wood for the plant to grow. What in the ground must you sow? Well, of course, an egg. Yes, all right, good. She got a little nervous there. All right, so I'm actually gonna go, either way I gotta do Grunty. So we'll, we'll do Grunty here, because that makes no sense. Let's do some Grunty. Okay, across the sky, I love to glide. What type of the of broomstick do I ride? Deluxe Super Glitify Pro, the Lard Master 2000. Oh. All right. Is it this? Now let me think. What I is Grunty's favorite drink? Some of the elephant sweat, camel spit, milkshake, cold worm juice. Let's go with the camel spit. Oh, I knew it's wrong. I always get these wrong, but I like to save my jokers from avoiding these when I can. I'll try one more time. Apart from doing stupid rhymes, what's another of my pastimes? Collecting dragon teeth. Bursting boils, if I remember. No, oh, really? Oh, screw this. We'll go around for a while. And I'll skip the one over to the left and we'll get more Joker. Listen up now. Then make your choice. Which characters have this dumb voice? These are the bears from Boggy. These are Boggy's children. The polar bear kids. Ta-da! Yay, all right. Random Banjo Kazooie fact. Man Monster Mansion is real hard, but what's not found in the graveyard? Flowers. Flowers? No, and gravestones. There's just no ghosts. Oh, that's a trick question. All right, visuals, let's do it. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Uh, yes, this is Mad Monster Mansion. This is down in the cellar. Yay! All right, now I'm gonna skip this. You can use your Joker here to skip this. So we get some health here, and then we can answer the Joker. Let's go with the Joker. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Oh, this is the guy, the Snake Charmer from uh, Gobi's Desert, Gobi's Valley. I always want to say Gobi's Desert. Ruby, the Snake Charmer. Woohoo! So we get two more Joker cards. Worth getting for later for me. As you can tell, I, and you're like, oh, I could take notes on the Grunties, but who does it really? All right. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Sounds like Boggy. I think it's Boggy himself. Boggy the Bear? Is that Wallace? Okay, it was Boggy. I'm like, oh, Wazzo, though, man. That's a good, that's a good like, stumper for me. All right, listen carefully to this tune. Which world's it from, you furry goon? Oh, come on, it's the best song in the game! Freeze Easy Peak. Awesome song, everyone loves it. <laughs> Freeze Easy Cove. All right then. All right, another time challenge. All right, I only have about a few minutes left here, so I'm gonna just do a few more of these. Okay, is it just a memorization pattern? Watch as the turtles sing their song. Repeat it quick. You won't get long. Red. Yellow. Dark blue. Okay. 
Okay. So I got 30 seconds to do this. And it kind of just did its own, like, rotation, because then it went... And it went dark blue. And it went yellow. And then it went red. Did it! Easy peasy. Alrighty then. In a pyramid, some tiles you match. Who's not included in this batch? Jumbo is, Jinjo, Gruntilda is not. Beautiful. Another visual. So I'm gonna go and tell you I think the Joker card next. Here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb thing's name? Oh, well, it's Kobe! Oh, don't call him dumb. We beat him up as it is. Why do we have to keep uh, humiliating him? Well, that's Gobi. Alright then. So now I'm gonna skip this. And we're gonna go for the Joker up here. In Gobi's Valley, there's a tree. On its head, what can you see? Sunglasses. A leafy wig. Uh, a leafy wig? I honestly didn't know that. I didn't know that, really. In Click Clock Wood, the eagle's lame. Can you recall the stupid bird's name? It's Eerie! Oh, she's so, so mean to her characters. Alright. Alright, here we go. Can we do this? Let's do it. Click Clock's beaver is really dumb. What's the problem that makes him glum? Well, he can't get in his house. He's got nothing to eat. His head is falling off. <laughs> I can get in his house, so give me that, please. Thank you. All right, two more, and we're done with this episode. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where ha you have been? All right, this is Waza's cave, because you can see Waza in the top right there. That one I know. Well, that's for easy to peek. Thank you. All right, jokers. You should remember, but we'll see if this is heard. Where would you be? Oh crap, where is this? This sounds like like Waza's cave. Yeah, this is Waza's cave. We were just literally looking at Waza's cave. Inside the haunted bear's church. No, inside the haunted church. Inside the polar bear's igloo. Okay, one of those. Alright, four more Joker cards. We're actually doing pretty well. Let's see where we're at here. So I'm going to actually use it here to skip this. So now I've got three to blast through the, the two death traps and the grunty switch at the end. So I've got three more things to do. But I'm going to save those for next time because there's going to be some nice credit scenes that go through. And that will be good for next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe to all the good stuff. Uh, next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, we're going to finish the quiz. Um, and kind of continue our trudge through the ending of the game. Um, we'll probably see some credits and see some end cutscenes as we're pretty much close and got this wrapped up. So, anyways, have yourself a wonderful um, day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye!